In this video, we're going to create a direct line tree for your DNA test results. When you do a DNA test, I think it's important to attach your DNA results to a DNA tree. You can attach it to your regular tree with all your ancestors and collateral ancestors on it, but if that's not something that you want to share, you can create a tree with just your direct line. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can create a direct line tree quite easily. In an upcoming video, I'm going to share with you how you can create a special tree for those DNA matches that you don't know how you connect to them. So be sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you're notified of new videos. But for now, let's create that direct line tree. So first we're going to look at ancestry and then we'll look at my heritage as these are the two major DNA testing sites that offer not only DNA kits, but also the ability to do research. So here we're at Ancestry. To create a tree, all you have to do is log into your Ancestry account and then click on the Tree tab. Then click on Create and Manage Trees. If you have any other trees, then all you have to do is scroll past them to see Create a New Tree. So I'm going to show you how to create this tree. So start with yourself and I'm just going to put me and that I'm a female and continue. And then here I'm going to go to my father and then add, and I'm going to actually add his name. And that he's deceased and and then I press continue. Now it's going to immediately, uh, because I've put two people in it, it's going to create the name of the tree. So in this case, I'm going to actually put at family tree, but of course you would put um, whatever you want to call your tree. Uh, in this case, I'm going to make it uh, private, but if you want to attach it to your DNA, you don't want to do that. So Anyways, this is what we're going to do, and we're going to save it. So remember, when you're doing it, you're not going to uh, uncheck that box. You're going to leave it so that it's visible for people. Because, well, it would be visible for people because I've entered my father as being deceased, so his name would show up. So I guess it really doesn't matter. The, the key thing with uh, a DNA tree that you're attaching your DNA to is you want to put make it a direct line and you also want to uh, at least have enough people that you've gotten to people that have already passed away. Because if you have a bunch of people, like if your parents are both still living, then it's going to be me and then uh, my parents would be private and private. That doesn't help to connect with other matches. So now I'm going to show you a quick way if you already have a tree created for yourself. So, of course, in our previous screen, we could have just went ahead and um, finished creating the tree. It would have taken a few minutes, but, you know, that's up to you. But this is a quick way that you might want to try. So if you go over to the side toolbar on the left-hand side, you'll see that right now I have my tree as a vertical tree, but I can go horizontal. And I am the home person in the tree. And you'll see that I have my dad there, so I'm going to click him. I'm going to go to his profile. And then if you go over to tools, you can actually go to save to a tree. And there's that tree that I just created. So I can then put, and because I've already entered his name, I just can connect to that name. If I wanted to start from scratch, I could add them as a new person, but I don't have to do that because I already did that. So watch what it does. You save it and it automatically puts all the information in there. I can also put his parents. I can put um, my mother and I can put his siblings and so on. So you get the idea that it, this would be pretty easy to create a direct line tree just by using the add to tree 
function from your current tree. So here I've gone back to the at family tree that I created and you can see how easy it was just to add those few names to that. It's also now giving hints as to what they believe the other name should be in my tree. Now, in this case, John Robert Thompson is not correct because that was my grandfather's stepfather, but you get the idea. Now, all I'd have to do is the same thing with my mother. And now I have a tree that is potentially large enough to attach my DNA to. So I know when you purchase a DNA kit, a lot of time when you register it, uh, before you send it in, you can create your tree then. And so I encourage you, if that's what you're doing, then create your tree and be sure to extend your tree out far enough that you're getting to people that have passed away because otherwise it's not as helpful to people to understand how you might connect. But uh, I thought I'd share with you a page that uh, is on the Ancestry website. It does tell you how to connect your tree. I didn't want to share it exactly with my own because I have a lot of private information from other people that I have worked with. And so I thought I'd show you this. I will put a link to this uh, page in the notes below the video and so you can access it there. So basically you're going to go to the right hand corner of Ancestry, you're going to click on your profile, then you're going to go to account settings, then you're going to click on the left hand side of the page, the DNA uh, tab, and then you're going to select a DNA kit and under DNA kits and family tree links, click the DNA link. And then you're going to link your tree just by clicking the drop down and choosing that existing tree that you created. So that direct line tree. So if you wanted to call it uh, my direct line tree, you could do that. In my case, I've attached my DNA to my full tree. And so my entire tree is visible and my tree is public. So uh, my matches uh, can see exactly how they might connect. So I hope this part helps. Now let's go on to my heritage. So now let's look at my heritage. To create a direct line tree on my heritage, we go to family tree and then choose manage trees from the drop down menu. Then we just go over to the right hand corner and we'll, where you see in tiny writing there, uh, add family tree. At that point, you'll be taken to this screen where you can enter the information uh, that you need to add to create the tree. So once you've created your DNA direct line tree, then all you do is go to your DNA and then go to manage your DNA kits. And then when you click that, you will see your kit and then you, it'll say uh, attached to a tree and then just choose the tree. Uh, I can't show you this at this time because I don't have any kits that I need to do that to. So I hope you found this helpful. In both cases, whether you're doing it with Ancestry or with MyHeritage, by attaching your tree or your DNA to a tree, then this also enables some other features on the site. So in case, in the case of Ancestry, you're going to get some through line matches and with uh, my heritage, you're going to get uh, theory of family relativity, which uh, both in both cases that helps you a little bit uh, to see where you might be connecting with other members. So I hope this helps. So there you have it. That's how you create those direct line trees in both ancestry and in my heritage so that you can connect your DNA to that tree. I believe by doing that, that it's kind of enticing to your DNA matches because they can see how they possibly can, can connect. You may also want to be sure that you put in your tree notes that if you have a mystery in your family that uh, you explain that, that they may not see uh, names that they are familiar with because you may have DNA uh, brick walls that 
that you haven't got past and and perhaps they're going to be the people that are going to help you break down that brick wall so that can also be a way of of connecting with matches by you know making your profile uh interesting and and explain why you might not have a complete tree and then remember that uh if you uh like and subscribe to my channel you will be able to see the this upcoming video that i'm going to create which is on how to create a quick and dirty tree or sometimes people call it a quick and simple tree and i just call it a dna in common with tree so i hope you will uh, like this video as well as subscribe and ring that bell so you can be notified when that comes up thanks and have a great day and happy hunting